Well, as the temperatures warm up and people get outside more, it's important to remember we are in the midst of active time for ticks. Yeah, Jess Lipson spoke with an animal expert to discuss ways of preventing the little critters from infecting your pet. Jess, what'd you learn? Tom, Mimi, there are many ways to stay ahead of the game when it comes to ticks, whether it is inquiring about medicine for your dog or how to check after a long walk. Preventing ticks from infecting your dog can be life-saving. Oh. <clears throat> so Pepper's really easy to check because of her, uh, her light colors. Jared Hennis goes on walks every day with his dog Pepper. They walk through various trails and paths in the state line. This year, he has already found and removed more than 30 ticks from her. He already has Lyme disease from several years ago from ticks. Uh, we try to do the best we can with, you know, being pre-prepared for it, um, but it's just insane. Like, the ticks around here are so bad. Uh, normal years haven't been too bad, but I think it didn't get cold enough last year, uh, so the ticks are heavy this year. Amber Pinnon with the Winnebago County Animal Services says prevention is key when dealing with ticks. They carry a lot of diseases, um, so and especially as the weather gets warmer, dogs are outside more, sometimes cats may be out in your backyard more, things like that. So it's really important to be vigilant and make sure that they're checking them over, you're having a good feel over for them, just because the sooner that a tick is caught, the less likely they are to, to carry diseases with your pet. Talking with your vet about what they recommend for tick and flea medicine is a good start. Medicines are the best way of preventing the ticks, diseases, and so you don't have to pull them off yourself. Still, it is always important to check. So, whenever your dog comes from outside, you just want to look around the ears especially um, and make sure that, you know, you're not being too rough with them. Sometimes they can, something if you lift a paw wrong, that can hurt or something of that sort. So you want to look at paw pads, feel all over their body, look at their belly, especially because that's where the top of the grass is going to be, um, around their tail, everything like that. They may be just as excited to get love and attention from you as this one is, so. If you do find on your, uh, a tick on your dog and worried it may have any diseases, there are many locations that will test the tick for you and give you quick assistance to the right treatment. Tom?